what Taiwan is facing now is a transformational, a trans transformational problem. It seems that we have not yet uh, leapfrogged from yesterday's experiences, and we try to still trying to figure out where our next economic pillar is. If we just look at what we were, what well, what we used to be good at, which is hardware, and it's going nowhere because of the low cost and the cheap labor that China is now really, really good at. Commoditized. Commoditized, exactly. Is Taiwan innovative enough to fully back a new initiative, if you will? Uh, oftentimes in the past, either the regulators or even lawmakers yeah. have either been slow to yeah. adopt or they just shut down something they don't know. Yeah, so I think in the past, uh, bureaucracy is an issue. I think red tape, also uh, a big problem for this country, an administrative hassle as well. But since I became a legislator, I made it a mission to remove those legal barriers for innovation and technology and uh, startups. Uh, one of the most uh, notable uh, bills that we have passed uh, last year is the Financial Technology Experimentation and Innovation Bill. That's the regulatory sandbox. Exactly. That's uh, what we call FinTech Bill, uh, which will pave the way for uh, FinTech industry to take shape uh, in Taiwan. But that being said, I think it is still the uh, government's mentality that is really the big issue. Because if we look at the nascent technology like cryptocurrency and blockchain and some of its current trends and the use of technology, uh, Taiwan can really find a unique position with the rise of this technology. I think we should really take advantage of this wave and really fill the void that's been left in this region. Taiwan has a really good engineering talent. And for the last four weeks, I've been meeting with you know, blockchain companies, cryptocurrency companies who are all interested in coming to Taiwan to set up their uh, R&D centers and to open uh, branch offices here. But the, the issue is how does government or regulatory body, uh, financial superficiary uh, commission, seize this issue? Do we seize this as a threat? that we're going to uh, clamp down on it? Or do we see this this uh, opportunity? You must be worried about fraud, though. Yeah. Are you open to ICOs, initial coin offerings, on the Taiwan exchange? I think right now, it seems that government is passive or, or choose to avoid talking about it. But you can't really um, uh, run it away from it because it will just go underground and it would have a lot of uh, implications. For me, I think Taiwan can become a ICO trading hub in Asia.